Glory to the O Trinity, only co-equal deity, yet as the world began to be, Amen, now and throughout all eternity. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, for his merciful kindnesses bring before us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without. Amen. O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are saying of me. Many are raising up against me. There is no help for him in God. But thou, o Lord, art my shield about me, my glory and my lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, my, and he answers me from his holy hill. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Glory, O Trinity, co-equal only deity, ere yet the whole world began to be, and now and through all eternity. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now may we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In thy resurrection, O Christ, hallelujah. Let heaven and earth rejoice, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, who fulfilled by your resurrection that all was promised by the prophets, observing in remembrance the glory of the resurrection. We are gathered together to do you homage and deepest thanksgiving. Look on us in our humility and grant that being wiped clean from the stain of sin during the holiness of the great night, we will rise to new life as worthy partakers of your death and resurrection, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit, God, throughout all ages of ages. Amen.
Thank you, Chairman. Under that. 
Sunday. Let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. For your penance today, open up your heart to the resurrected Lord. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in God, word and deed, by my fault, by my fault. By my own great fault, I ask blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and the remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. And your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. I have risen. I am with you once more. You placed your hand on me to keep me safe. How great is the depth of your wisdom. Alleluia. O Lord, you know me. You know that I sit and when I stand. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And he is the other. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God and of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God our Father, you have raised Christ your Son, who conquered death and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives by the risen Christ who is among us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and our one God 
forever and ever. Amen. Cheryl, will you please proclaim the word? Um, my dear brothers, please, there are three seats. I will stand. You don't have to all fight over the middle one. <laughs> yes, we do. The first reading is a reading from the book of Acts. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the, all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one anointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gradual, the stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Hallelujah. This is, this this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the word has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what, of what is above, not as on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. 
So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, to all of you, Happy Easter. And as they say in Polish, Wesołego Alleluja. We have some Polish people here. And Wesołego Alleluja. There was once a man, the author of life who overcame death and the grave. There was once a lamb who was holy enough and sacrificed and has the power to forgive, a power to save. There was once a shepherd with love so great that he chose to die for our gain. And there one was and is the one Lord, the one matchless King who is worthy enough to reign. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, witnesses of the resurrection of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, According to the Gospel of St. Mark, we read that when the women came back to the tomb of Jesus to finish the anointing of our Lord, that first Easter morning, they encountered an angel. Now an angel, in God's hierarchy, we are taught our pure spirits who came unto the Old Testament prophets of God and who came and still come to proclaim God's word, God's promises, and God's joy. He is not here. He is risen. The women are told. So where did our Lord go following his glorious resurrection? 
He went to His believers. Believers like you and me. He appeared to the best of our knowledge to Mary first, but also to the other women. To the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And to His first chosen that first Easter day. We must understand that the first gospel who many believe was the Gospel of Mark, was written approximately 70 A.D., some 40 years after the resurrection of the Lord, while the three remaining Gospel accounts were written after the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 A.D. The last Gospel, according to John, was written some 20 years later, around 90 AD. Now if we look at the timeline, the young women that appeared at the tomb, along with Mary Magdalene and possibly Mary the mother of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, were still around when the gospel started to be written. And so they were the witnesses. <clears throat> we find that in the four gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, there are discrepancies to who Jesus, the resurrected Lord, first appeared to. But in the end, all agree that He rose from the dead that first Easter morning. You know, I have stood before congregations for many years and have looked at the holy days, including Easter. And after the good Lord has blessed me with so many years, I have come down to a simple message, the message of Easter is life itself. Look to the person or to the people who are sitting next to you. Look and consider your friends and those for whom you have loved in your life and understand the importance of life. I think as we all get older, I think we appreciate more and more the gift of life that comes from God and that Easter tells us that through the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are offered life beyond our own death. You know, Easter tells us that life is eternal through His resurrection. I hope this evening, after all the celebrations <coughs> with our family and friends and loved ones, we might find a quiet time, a single moment, reflecting in prayer and reflecting upon life itself. It has been written that Easter we remember a love that sacrificed all, a power that conquered all, and a hope that reaches all. To believe that the resurrection of Jesus and his appearances to others that feed first Easter was only a story that took place some 2,000 years ago. 
it limits the very power and presence of the eternal God who gave each of us the gift of life. The greatest truth this Easter is that Christ lives and he presents himself to those who truly seek him and believe in the very power of God who raised Jesus from the dead. When we truly seek him, he comes to us. It may not be an intense light that fills your entire house as what happened to St. Paul that one day on the road to Damascus. But it just may be a simple feeling but a real feeling found in the depths of our own beings that we know without a doubt that he lives. The joy of Easter is so much more than chocolate candy or blessed food. It is so much more than Easter parades or putting on a new Easter bonnet or taking a suit out after many years and dressing up. Easter, my dear brothers and sisters, is the gift of life itself. It is a gift of eternal life that gave, God gave us through His Son, through the death and through the resurrection. The message of the resurrected Lord, as He speaks to us this day, is found in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 19 where Jesus is gathered at the Last Supper, prior to going out, being arrested, and starting his passion. It was a time in which he had the opportunity to give some final words. And you know what he said? In a little while, the world will no longer see me but you will see me. Because I live, you will also live. And so, it is my prayer that all of you experience this Easter day His loving presence in your life and in the lives of all your loved ones for whom you hold dear. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of myself personally, and the members of the Parish Committee of Holy Name of Jesus here in South Deerfield, we wish to express to you a most joyous Easter, and again, may God bless all of you.
gifts we offer you with joy in which your church is reborn and nourished through Jesus Christ our Lord 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, uh, especially on this day when he became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death, he conquered death for us. And by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, we join this day with the voices of angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating, Very humbly. Holy, holy, holy. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. May we pray for this day, for all the sick, the suffering, and the dying, for the hungry and the homeless, for all those who suffer illnesses. May we pray for all abused and neglected children of the world and all abused and neglected animals, all victims of violence both here and abroad. May we give God our thanks for doctors and nurses and first responders and all healthcare workers who strive daily to save others. May we pray for peace throughout the world, remembering the people of Ukraine. May we also pray for all those who serve in our armed forces both here and abroad and pray that God would return them safely to their family and loved ones. And Lord, may we also pray for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own for their hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and above honor above all others. The memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, 
that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and to make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty of your own gifts and presence, a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant, Abel the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the sign of faith and now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, we pray a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, Bless and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's 
teaching uh, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, peace in our day, that being supported by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master awaken in all of us, living faith, fervent to love, worship, adoration, and the holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord with high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies may the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul 
unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Pray to receive the body.
We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, watch over your church and bring us to the glory of the resurrection promised by this Easter sacrament. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Sacrifice has been offered. Alleluia. 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 May the Almighty and merciful God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life of the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Are you ready for the main sermon? <laughs> you know, all of this uh, is not possible unless we have the help and the assistance of so many people. I remember one year when I was newly ordained and we decorated for Easter. And I said, do you see how beautiful the altar is? It is nothing compared to the beauty of your own soul. And so on this Easter, we share with our blessed Lord a promise that because I live, you will also live. This Easter is so very, very important for so many of us. For so many reasons. I want to thank our dear organist, Barbara Stahelski, who, along with the choir, <coughs> performed some beautiful numbers today, as well as during the whole season of Lent, and also for the participation of Holy Lent. I wish to thank the three who actually served to carry the sym symbols of Easter to John Harrington and Josh Tudrin 
and our parish chairman, Eric DeBrinzi. I want to thank the men and women who stayed on Holy Saturday to decorate the altars. For without you, dear women and dear gentlemen, this would not be possible. I think that's why God only gives us two hands, because he calls upon others to help. And so for Shirley and for Alice and for all those who have come forward. Alice, am I missing someone else? Sue. Sue. Eric. <laughs> and Wayne. Is there anybody else? I always, I, I kid around with Wayne and I said, don't get old. <laughs> because your mind is not as sharp as it used to be. I want to thank my, my dear brothers in the faith. Starting with my brother Wayne, who has been so dedicated that he kind of pushes me. There are some times that I may not feel like I want to celebrate Mass daily. But his car is here, and I realize that I have to also be here. And so, Wayne, I thank you. You know, during the season of Lent, whether it be on Good Friday for the 9 o'clock devotions or the Stations of the Cross at 3 or, or for the Mass of the Presanctified or the penitential services, Wayne is always here. To my dear Vincent, my, my other brother, um, I want to thank you. I know Vincent, you were having a problem not that long ago with a very, very bad cold. And I'm so happy that you were able to um, be a part in our sanctuary. I want to thank our youngest, Braden, who, you know, the thing is, as, as boys turn into young men and into gentlemen, that they kind of shy away from the altar, but Braden has always been at the beck and call for the Holy Day. So, Braden, I thank you for that. And I want to thank all of you, and I'm sorry if I missed anyone. I want to thank you for your love and for your dedication and your devotion to this church and to each other. This is what our blessed Lord called upon all of us. If you truly love each other, you will, they will know that you are my disciples. And so, may God's blessings be with you your loved ones, and I know for many of us from the Polish, uh, the ancestry, what is awaiting us is blessed Easter food of ham and kielbasa and horseradish and eggs and bread and everything else that's associated with it. Feast today because it is the Lord who has given us victory over death and eternal life. May we conclude this morning with a prayer for our living, for our friends, our families, our neighbors, for those that are in need. And then may we also offer a final prayer for the repose of the souls of our late departed loved ones, who through the resurrection of our blessed Lord has what we call eternal life. May God be with all of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We will sit and pray for and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the souls of all our late departed loved ones, Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they, the of the May they all 
Rest in the peace of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit we pray this day. Amen. Amen. Glory.